So to be honest, Codex Extension is the same thing as Codex CLI, but it has a different user interface. So I am using VS Code and I had just installed Codex Extension. When I click on it, it has a very similar user interface like with uh, GitHub Copilot or Cursor. And you can see that we have all the history of our previous tabs. Again, as I said earlier, Codex Extension and Codex CLI are literally the same thing, but with just different user interfaces. Maybe you are familiar with Copilot or Cursor. You might think that using Codex Extension is easier because, you know, it has better UI. It has, you know, all the buttons that you can uh, adjust your configuration instead of using just, you know, slash commands and, you know, interacting in a terminal. So if you are a terminal guy, you want to do all things in a terminal, Codex CLI is your choice. If you're not a hardcore user, you might think that Codex extension has a better user interface, so just keep using it. About the performance and the model underlying, they are literally the same thing. You can see that we can adjust the settings in a terminal file, or we can add new MCP servers also in the terminal file. So again, they are the same thing, Codex CLI and Codex extension.